Good evening guys, welcome to another video. Something a bit different this time, no fishing this time. But we'll go and uh, grab a bit of bread, go for a walk over the road, see if we can feed a few chub. No fishing this evening. Wanted to, what I wanted to do was introduce you to a new, well, what will be a new regular face on the channel, if she'll keep still, <laughs> is this young lady here. Her name is Tess, golden retriever puppy, who's gonna be my fishing companion. As soon as she can uh, behave herself, as soon as she's old enough to behave herself anyway. But yeah, we're just going off for a walk now. She's uh, 12, 13 weeks now. So just starting to, starting to learn to behave a little bit. <laughs> she does seem to have a very good nature to be fair. I've had, had dogs all my life really, apart from the last sort of seven, seven or eight years. So it's nice to have a dog again. But uh, yeah, I forgot what I, pain in the backside puppies can be but uh, we'll get there with her she's uh, as I say she does seem to have a very very good nature she's very good I've been teaching her not to run th through and under gates as you can see <laughs> sit nope we're not going to do that first time Tess sit good girl wait wait go on then good girl there we go we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere with the training <laughs> we'll go see what's going on down here. It is a Sunday, so it could be a little bit crazy down opposite home. Come on, off there. Good girl. So, yeah, she will be coming as and when I can. I mean, obviously, lots of stretches and no dogs, and she'll need to be quite a bit older before I can uh, take her with me, really, because she needs to be able to behave herself. But uh, golden retrievers are usually pretty good, aren't they? So. Uh, Right, we'll see what it's like down here. Obviously the idea is to uh, walk her off this lead when she can finally be fully trusted. Tess, come. Good girl, well done. Good girl. I'm gonna walk down the field if the cows are not in there. If they are, then we shan't because uh, actually down there a couple of weeks ago and saw the swans two swans in a signet climb up into the field and the cows are there and they've got calves and they absolutely went probably about 30 cows and probably a few less calves maybe 20 calves and they absolutely went berserk at the swans um i sort of beat hasty retreat. i've never seen cows going that crazy they were absolutely nuts uh, at these swans uh, but what I didn't realise in my concern about getting out of the field <laughs> I didn't have the dog with me at the time by the way but uh, I was a bit concerned for my own safety really I'm usually alright with these cows down here but they uh, what I discovered the next day is they actually killed the signet it was like full grown it's still grey feathered but it was full grown and they, they killed it, it in, in the middle of the field um, but the two parents got away so it's another year they haven't raised any successfully. They haven't raised any since the otters turned up here. Yeah, there's, we have a swans that nest here. And uh, they haven't raised any signets fully to maturity since the otters turned up there. This one left this year. Um, like I say, the cows are taking this one out. I don't know if it'll still be out here. It's down here a few days later. May still be down here, we're going to have a look. It's getting a bit dark. <laughs> Not come out till next, it's so hot. We're going to have a quick look at the river anyway, see if we can uh, get any chub feeding. Got a few slices of bread. The cows seem to be a long way away. They're not at this end, so we'll be all right. I've uh, not been fishing down here for a while, and this bit, um, aside from surface fishing for chub, I might try and nip down tomorrow. It's been so hot again really steer clear of the fishing i've been i've been out once since you last saw me since that hectic crazy session on the uh on the y trotting i've been out once i actually went to the place on the avon i've been stalking the barbel um bumped into a chap called ollie hi ollie he watches the channel um i fed up after and swims i saw one bobble so i quickly go across one of my spots um, and that was it so I never even got my rod out to be honest <laughs> I 
I'm just wondering if we can, uh, can feed a few chub this evening. Like I say, perhaps nip out tomorrow. I'll quit both of them. It's going to be starting to cool off now. We'll have a look. Tess, come on. You see where the uh, where the swan was? It's by all these feathers. I'm assuming you can see all the feathers on the ground, but uh, no sign of it now. I guess the foxes have had it or something. Never seen anything like it. Cows, it was like a stampede. They were going absolutely crazy at the swans. I'm not sure why. They really didn't like the swans being anywhere near them now. It's, uh, it's gone now. So, I don't know whether, uh, whether a fox has had it. Probably would have, I should think. Some people really behaving and uh, <laughs> going at the speed limit, which is, I think, two knots downstream. It's doing about 15. Great, and people are wonderful. So I'm probably not going to get any chub going, I would think. That would be my guess. This is probably a good spot here because you can see quite a long way down. So we'll chuck a bit of bread in and see if we can get anything going anyway. Come on, Tess. You're going to have to get used to this if you come to fishing. Come on, you can do it. Well done, well done. She's at that age at the moment where everything's new. Everything's new. <laughs> come on. All new smells. Don't go around there. Come on in. Now this is what you've got to learn to do. Sit quietly and patiently. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to happen. <laughs> not, not at this age anyway. It's all far too new. <laughs> right, see if we can get any chub going. Let's see if we can get anything going down here. About to say, boat going through. It's nearly nine o'clock. The boat's just ripped through, so probably not. But we'll see. Well... Not a lot going on down here. Just getting on a bit. Lots and lots of small fish taken. We've not had any big splashes yet. Oh, slightly bigger one. I'm going to have a look up by the weir. But uh, there's a few people hanging, up, hanging around there. So uh, not sure we'll get any peace there. <laughs> Certainly not peaceful enough perhaps to... Uh, any chub to be interested in having any food. We have started letting her have a bit of a run in here off the lead because she will come back as long as there's nothing <laughs> too distracting. It's fairly good field for that but there's uh, someone else walking their dogs in here so I'm not going to let her off tonight. controlled environment really to let her off but uh, not this evening well nothing doing down here at all I've uh, put some bread in here and up in the weir but I thought perhaps we might tempt a few chub I think it might be a little bit late they do tend to come to the top don't they later on but uh, maybe a bit late in the evening but uh, just a little introduction to this young lady anyway who's uh, interested in sniffing everything at the moment around here so you will be seeing her as I say in future videos but uh, perhaps not for a few months until she's a bit better behaved than she is now look into everything go on then wants to get absolutely into everything <laughs> right as i say i'm gonna probably get down here tomorrow if not i'll be out within the next few days but for now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that something a little bit different nice and short and uh, many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and i'll see you all again with a fishing rod in my hand very soon <laughs>